Hi, my name is Rahul Kini, and I am a summer undergraduate researcher in the Thompson Lab. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we do here in the lab. Our goal is to design a reliable thin film lithium ion battery. This encourages us to explore different materials and different material properties over the course of the summer. What I have here is a completed a battery cell. What we're going to do is we're going to hook it up to our Solitron analytical testing software and we're going to allow it to cycle through the battery. What that means is it's going to charge and discharge the battery in consecutive iterations and therefore measure the energy capacity, current, and voltage over time. So let's hook this up. What you can see here, if you get a close look, is a sandwich, really. One of the, the great joys of our job over the summer is designing each layer of the battery. Part of our job using a sputtering machine is to determine how each layer will fit, upon, uh, fit on top of the next. So by using uh, drawing software and 3D drawing software, we're able to design each layer of the, the battery in accordance to what we want. Uh, first we have our current collector anode, which we'll connect to other batteries. Second we have silicon, which is our anode. Uh, third, we have Lipon, which is our electrolyte, our solid state electrolyte. Fourth, we have lithium cobalt oxide, which is our, our, our cathode. And then we have our current collector um, cathode. And usually these current collectors, number five and number one, are, are some metal like titanium or platinum. And then these are all on top of our silicon wafer substrate. And so, if you were to put this back together, you have a 3D view of what our battery will look like. So behind me, I, I have the sputtering machine of the Thompson facility. This allows us to coat our silicon substrate with each individual layer of the battery. Below the sputtering machine itself are three guns, each consisting of a, a target um, containing a different material. As we take this holder where a substrate is attached to on, and we physically attach a mask. Here we have our holder that we designed, which sandwiches the silicon wafer itself. And what it allows us to do is snap back the, the clips and interchange our different masks. So the sputtering machine that we use is essential, is an essential tool of how we deposit each layer of our battery. This is a thin foam battery, so we have to monitor the size of each of our layers, which is on the order of about 100 nanometers to maybe 800 nanometers per layer. Uh, here, what we do is we control three different guns that have three different types of substrates. In, in here right now, we have lithium cobalt oxide, which is a, a cathode, lithium phosphorus oxynitride, which is our electrolyte, and titanium, which is our current collector. We have three panels down here on our system, each referring to a different gun. The research that we've conducted in the Thompson Lab this summer on lithium ion thin film batteries is essential for the growing battery industry. One of the, one of the things that our project has focused on and may lay the, gra uh, lay the groundwork for is the investigation into thermogalvanic cells and thermogalvanic batteries, otherwise known as batteries that are run by thermal gradients. This has also laid the groundwork for integrated circuits and integrated battery networks as a whole.